Now I'd like to place some Soldier Course borders along the edges of the driveway here. But before we do that, I'm going to show you a little trick. Let's say, for example, you've designed this and you've traced over the driveway that's there, but you realize this driveway would be a little bit better if they widen out this one corner here so they can come in from a different angle. So because this is not set in concrete, all you have to do is select on the defined area, go up here to area and click on edit area. It brings up the drawing tools. Click on move point and I'm going to grab this point here and just click on it and drag it over to the edge making sure that this is a fairly straight line here. See if we can scroll down. Nope, it's already at the bottom of the image. Well that looks good enough so let's click OK and now let's put in the soldier course borders. Now to place in the borders you need to first draw in the borders. So you go up here to the drawing tools and we're going to start down here at the bottom. I'm going to click down a point and I'm going to go along the edge of the driveway here. Looks like I need a couple points. And then I'm going to stop right here at this point because when you're placing in borders, which we'll show you here in a second, the borders are going in two different directions. They're going horizontally and vertically, but you can't do both in the same defined area. So I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to bring it out just a little bit here and bring it down back to the bottom and close that polygon. It's just that a bit because it's a little too narrow for me. And I'm going to add a point because I see now that I had put a point in there. You need to be able to match up both sides. So now I've got the right side of the driveway done. Because they're going both in the same direction, I can also do the left side at the same time. So again, I'll start here, click point, draw it into about here, come out a little bit, and then bring it back down to the bottom and close that polygon. Now we're able to put the texture in there. So we go here to the pattern library and make sure you select on the pattern and we want to get the pattern of soldier course. And as you can see, there are only soldier course patterns appearing. Now if you notice it says Brick Red Colony H and Brick Red Colony V and you notice that the grout lines are going in two different directions. This is H for horizontal but you say but the lines are going vertically. That's because it's used when you're going horizontally across the image and the V stands for vertical and we're going to go vertically or up the image here. So this is the one that we would use. But let's use a different color because that wouldn't go too good with this. So we'll scroll down here and we'll use the brown just for this example. Let's use the copper cream vertical. Click on it and as you can see it filled in those areas. Now you may want to put a little uh, perspective on it so we'll grab the perspective handles here and as you can see it now looks like they're getting smaller as they get towards the top. Now we want to go in a different direction. We want to go off here to the right on this side and to the left on this side. So we're going to click OK to exit the menu, go back into the drawing tools, and now I'm going to draw the sword of course going along the border here. And again, I have to stop at the pilaster. And again, you can always have gaps in your defined areas, and the textures will go across the gaps. So you don't have to worry about that. Now I'm drawing this a little bit thinner here because you're not going to really see it as well as you would uh, the other borders because we're kind of at uh, below that elevation. Okay, now I want to go back into Pattern Library. I need to switch this back to Soldier Course. I did not save Soldier Course the last time. Uh, so I'm going to click on Soldier Course and click Save as Default. So the next time I come back into this menu, it will already be set to Soldier Course. So let's scroll down to find the color that we used. Now we used Copper Cream Vertical the last time because we're going vertically up the screen. Now we want to go horizontally across the screen, so I'm going to use the H. Keep in mind, it's always a good idea to remember the color that you used because I had a hard time finding which color because I did not pay attention to the color that I used. There is a trick to get around that, but we'll cover that later. So I'm going to click on H here. And as you can see, now the grout lines are going up and down instead of across the screen. So now we're going to adjust the perspective by grabbing these handles and we're going to click on free to free up the handles because we're going to change the direction 
of those grout lines and as you can see as I'm moving this around the grout lines change direction that looks good enough for me and you can see now that I have did a really bad job of drawing this it kinda goes thin and gets white again we could go back in there and fix that by using the editing tools but before we do that let's draw on the other side over here going to the left so I'll go back up here to the define area tools I want to match it up with the end of this I'm going to draw it off in this direction and that looks good so we'll go pattern library scroll down till we get to the copper cream and again we want to use the H or horizontal so we'll click on that and again we we'll click on free to free up those handles and then we adjust the perspective handles to get that border going the direction we want it to go and it looks like we need to use a little scale on that so now we've got the borders in let's go back and edit this area that I didn't draw very well so I'm going to click on it I'll go back to area edit area I'm going to zoom in by pressing F10 on the keyboard and I see I need to bring this line down zoom back out see how it looks looks okay now now if you want to change the colors of the borders you need to select on the border you want to change the color of by clicking on it and then go back up to pattern library make sure you have soldier course borders selected there and then scroll down to the border you want to try so let's try a black border and see what that looks like not too bad so if you like it you click OK and now we need to select on the other areas now this one and this one are two separate uh, defined areas but we can make them a group so that when we change one we actually change both of them because they're both the horizontal so I'm gonna click on this one hold down the shift key and click on this one and then I'll go up to area and I'll click on create a texture group so now they're grouped together so when I go in here to change one of them I'm going to be able to change both of them and we'll select on the H and as you can see both of them have changed this one needs to be a little adjusted so that's how you can change the colors of the borders now you could change them to a totally different texture but the technique is exactly the same you need to select on it go back in here to pattern library and I'm going to go in here and select just a color or texture with that and as you can see to me that actually looks a little bit better so we had the blended stone monsoon so let's go back in here and select this one and do the same thing on that and there's our monsoon and now we're basically done